Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the Brainiac Android home screen application. Uh, we're going to see how we install it, how we set it as our new default home screen, how we configure different settings inside of it, as well as the different features that are involved for things like convenience gestures, how to navigate without the buttons that are exposed uh, through the plastics in a car installation, uh, and really giving you that full guided tour of the software. Uh, so without uh, any further delay, let's uh, jump right into the software. Once you've downloaded your application from Google Play, you'll see it on your application grid inside of your uh, tablet. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to actually set it to be our default home screen. So the way that you do that on the Galaxy Tab 4 is you press the home screen button, the home button, and that's going to give you an option of what you want to be your launcher. Uh, so you've got whatever your standard launcher is there on there now, and we're going to select Brainiac. And we're going to say that we're going to want this always on there. So whenever we're going home, we want it to go to our launcher. So we say always. It will tell us that we can actually clear those defaults later if we want to. So we'll select OK. And it'll launch our home screen launcher application. So we've got our audio controls at the bottom. And we've got our application grid pulling in all the apps that you've got installed on the device here. Setting the application as your default home screen to use it all the time is something that's going to make sure that anytime that you're swiping back to home, it's not asking you whether or not you want to use a different launcher, and it's going to make it a lot more convenient inside of the application. Um, so one of the things that we have in here is being able to launch any of these different applications. To uninstall any apps on the device, you're still going to want to go into settings and be able to uninstall the apps from your settings area. It's not included as part of the launcher to be able to uninstall applications. So now we have our home screen launcher available here. We're seeing unknown track, unknown album. Essentially what this does is it actually will pick up any kind of audio application that you're using running your media. So I'm using Google Play on here, Google Play Music, uh, but any different application that creates essentially the widget that shows up um, in the system will work inside of Brainiac for being able to control it. So now we have our application. One of the things that we have made sure of is that we want to be able to navigate this application without being able to use the physical buttons on the screen. Now, one thing that you'll notice with the software is that we've locked it in portrait mode only. So it's not going to work in a landscape mode. You know, flip the device in either which way. It's only going to set in a portrait mode. Uh, this is because this is the layout that we've used for all of our plastics so far. Uh, so making it really convenient to be able to get to the application. So we're not really supporting it in a generic landscape mode quite yet. Um, so portrait is what you're going to have in the software itself. So what we've done in here is we've created gestures from the different controls uh, on the different sides of the screens to be able to perform those actions. Now what you're going to see here is when I try to do one of these gestures, it's going to give me a warning saying that this application has not been able, has not been given the accessibility uh, capabilities to be able to control things from these top level gestures. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings. And from settings, we're going to go into, I believe it is controls, device. So we have our accessibility here. And inside of accessibility, we'll see that we've got our services as the Brainiac screen navigation, but it's currently off. If we click on that, we can turn the toggle on and confirm it. And now we have our navigation capability working. So if I'm now being able to go home, I swipe up from the bottom and I get back to my home screen. So anywhere when we're doing things to get back home, I can swipe from the bottom. If I want to switch to my app switcher or being able to see my constant open apps, I'm going to switch from the left hand side of the screen and that's going to give me my application switcher capabilities so I can move between any of the different apps that I have on the device. If I swipe from the right, that's going to give me my back action. So we're emulating these three different buttons by gestures on the sides of the screens. So here I've got all of my applications. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to launch and play some audio on the device. So I'm going to go to my switcher. I'm going to pick my music app of choice and we're going to start playing some music from there. And then I'm able to switch back to my main home screen and I can see all of my controls here. So I can move back and forth between any things that are in my playlist. Pause play from in here. But also when I'm driving, it's difficult to be able to try to access these controls. So I'm able to actually use two finger gestures in any direction, forward or back, to be able to move 
through my playlist that I've got playing. So I can move back again and away we go. Same thing goes for being able to do things like controlling volume. If I want volume up, two fingers up. If I want volume down, two fingers down. So at any point when I'm driving, I can just reach over and change any of the different settings that I want uh, and, and move through my media on the device. Everything else is standard Android. Move between your applications, running any applications that you want on the device. We have provided a, a capability for being able to set your background colors as well. So here I'll change it over to green. And we can see that the main application all changes over to these colors. And any of my different hit points will use those same colors as well. So I can swipe back and bring myself back to the application. We wanted to add color selection in there. Um, there's not a lot of settings in the software so far, but it's one to be able to kind of customize the look and feel uh, of the main home screen. I've always found when I'm using uh, the application in my car is that it's staying on the home screen a lot of the times because I'm using the convenient gestures for being able to navigate back and forth through tracks that I'm listening to or being able to touch down onto the screen for the, the volume control. Um, so it really gives that kind of customized look of the colors inside of your environment, but still maintaining a really high contrast white on black environment for being able to see visually what's going on the screen and not too super bright at nighttime either. So that concludes our walkthrough of the software, its configuration. Uh, we wanted to thank everybody for using the application and participating in our, our Brainiac uh, uh, fun project that we're, we're doing and bringing to, to different cars. Um, the application is available for download through Google Play, so you can go straight on there and install it down onto your tablet and get rolling.